Go ahead. Okay, I need to change the countersink cutter in here that has a number 30 pilot into the one that has a number 40 pilot. So the first thing I need to do is lock the pilot into the cage um, using the drill, and then I can rotate the drill chuck and have it thread out. Okay, so we'll thread the number 40 pilot cutter into the countersink cage. And it tightens itself up, but I'm going to go ahead and put the drill bit in there and give it just a quick little tight, make sure it's snug. And then I'm going to pull back on the countersink and see how far it comes out. It comes out way, way too far. So we're going to thread that down until it just barely comes out a little bit. So, so that's noticeably underdone for the rivet that I'm doing. And then I'm going to... I just do a test in the aluminum to see how deep it is. Okay, again, it's noticeably underdone. So we have this uh, test countersink in here, and I've made a dimple right in the very corner of a piece of aluminum so that I can lay it in here and test and see how deep it is. You, if you get back from the edge here you can see that there's a, still quite a gap in between there. So the distance, the difference in that gap is the difference that I need to change the countersink. So I'm guessing just based on my experience probably 20 thousandths which would be 20 notches. So I'm going to go 10 just to be safe. Going in would make it deeper. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, nine, ten, something about like that. And then just re countersink the same hole. Okay, use my test piece again. So it's still loose, but not near as loose. I'm going to try another five and just sneak up on it. And this is the reason that it's nice to have more than one countersink. So once you have the number 40 set up, you can leave it set up since that's what you normally use. That feels like it's nested in perfect. It wants to rotate, but it doesn't want to translate. So I'm happy with that. Now, now that this is adjusted, each one along there will be exactly the same increment depth-wise.